Based on its experience of artillery use during the special military operation, Russia has begun to develop a floating howitzer of 152mm caliber. Roman Kromov, Deputy Executive Director for Gaz and VTS of Kurganmashzavad, part of the high precision systems holding of Rostec State Corporation, told Sputnik. In the 1980s, the USSR created a prototype of a 152mm caliber floating howitzer on the chassis of the BMP-3 known as PAT-S. The concept behind the PAT-S is a large caliber and lightweight. If you look at how combat operations are being conducted in the Special Military Operations Zone today and how equipment is being moved within these combat operations, you see that there is a need for a light vehicle with a 152mm caliber howitzer. But since this vehicle was developed in the USSR and under certain customer requirements, it now needs to be updated, especially as far as its fire control system goes," Kromov explained. He said that, in fact, preparatory work on the PAT-S is now underway, and information is being collected and analyzed in order to prepare a draft of the terms of reference. Kromov added that the peculiarity of the use of barrel artillery in the Special Operation Zone today involves firing from closed positions at long range, followed by a quick change of position to avoid return fire. What the Ministry of Defense has now chalked out for us is that we must analyze as to what extent it can be implemented using the scientific and technical research on the topic of PAT-S and other development work and mass-produced machines that we manufacture," said Kromov. The specialist pointed out that the PAT-S model did not go into production because the Conventional Armed Forces in Europe CFE, treaty was signed. Then the work on a number of promising vehicles was curtailed, including this model, he noted. The 2S18 PAT-S is an experimental 152mm self-propelled artillery unit developed in the Soviet Union in the 1980s on the basis of the BMP-3 chassis. According to open sources, the vehicle was not mass-produced, only one prototype was built. The PAT-S is the world's first large-caliber self-propelled howitzer capable of crossing water obstacles on its own. The 2S1 Gavazdika self-propelled howitzer in service also floats, but it is of medium-caliber 122mm. On the other hand, the 2S35 Koalitsia SV is a 152mm self-propelled howitzer manufactured by Ural Transmash, a subsidiary of Russian military equipment producer Yurovanzavod. It was designed by JSC Central Research Institute Bervestnik, Petrol, a division of Yurovanzavod based in Nizhny Novgorod. Development on the howitzer began in 2006. But it can't float. Mounted on a modified T-7290 track chassis, a Koalitsia SV prototype was unveiled during the Victory Day military parade in Moscow in May 2015. The Russian army received the first batch of the latest 2S35 Koalitsia SV self-propelled howitzer in May 2020. Trials of a wheeled version of the Koalitsia SV, based on the Kamaz 6550 truck chassis, began during the same month. The completion of the trials of the latest artillery system is expected in 2022.
Central Research Institute Bervestnik is also working on the development of advanced ammunitions for the artillery system. The Russian Defense Ministry awarded a contract for the supply of the latest Koalitsiya SV artillery guns in August 2021. The 2S35 self-propelled howitzer is designed to defeat armored vehicles, tanks, tactical nuclear weapons, anti-tank weapons, artillery and mortar batteries, enemy manpower and equipment, facilities, air defense missile systems, as well as command and control centers. Features of the howitzer include warning receiver, night vision, microwave shell priming system, nuclear, biological, and chemical, NBC, protection system, and shock absorber. The primary weapon is a 152mm 2A88 cannon, equipped with a muzzle brake and a recoil system. The ammunition capacity of the self-propelled gun is 50 to 70 shells and the maximum firing range is approximately 70 kilometers. An automatic loader with a pneumatic rammer allows the cannon to fire up to 8 rounds a minute. The self-propelled gun can fire a variety of munitions such as high-explosive precision-guided munitions, jammer-carrying projectiles, cluster projectiles with anti-tank submunitions, as well as standard and rocket-assisted high-explosive fragmentation he -frag, projectiles. It can also fire 9K25 Krasnopol semi-automatic laser-guided projectile, which can reach up to 20 kilometers. The projectile has four movable control surfaces at the front and four foldable fixed fins at the rear. A remote-controlled weapon system, armed with a 12.7mm cord machine gun, is mounted on the top of the vehicle. Also equipped with smoke grenade dischargers, the turret offers self-defense against air and ground targets. The export variant features a 155mm caliber self-propelled gun. The Koalitsiya SV artillery system can fire autonomously or can be remotely operated using an integrated fire control system. The howitzer's location and firing information are displayed on the command and control panel. 